Do you want to move to Florida, but you're uneasy about hurricanes and flooding? Currently, the Florida real estate transaction process is not transparent about these issues. In this video, I relay this week's latest published research findings and how to know if your property is at risk. Hi everyone, I'm Patricia Sagastuma and I'm a realtor here in the greater Fort Lauderdale area. Well, if you're thinking of moving to Florida, then you probably heard that we're prone to hurricanes and that means in some areas we're prone to flooding. So that's what I wanted to talk about. This week in the Realtor News, I was reading about some interesting research findings. A nonprofit group uh, that focuses on the climate change impacts on real estate values, they came out with research findings that wasn't too great. Um, basically, I'm going to summarize it. Basically, they're saying that they believe in Florida uh, insurance rates should be maybe four and a half times more expensive than they are now to be adequately funded. Um, that didn't sit well with FEMA. I think they had a polite way of saying this. What did they say? It's not a perfect comparison to ours. What they're talking about, FEMA is the Federal Emergency Management Agency. They set national flood insurance policy and they've been under criticism because the FEMA flood maps are out of date. I've mentioned that quite a bit. So it's hard to know if the property that you're buying really is safe or not, if the maps are out of date. So FEMA is going to be upgrading the maps or they're going to find a system to better uh, have realistic um, flood risk values to your property. And that it was supposed to happen in October last year, um, COVID happened. So now they're supposed to come out with it in October this year. Uh, one of the things that they pointed out to this research, they had a couple of criticism is that it didn't include um, condominiums or apartment buildings with more than four units. And they also relied on a service that banks use to estimate home values. And we know as realtors that that's typically lower than you know market value. So that's going on right now. I wanted to point that out to you because um, you know I've talked about it a lot. I do have an ebook that it's quick. It's a quick read. I'll put the link below. It's only two ninety nine, but I wrote it. it. Took me a couple months to write it because a lot of pe I talk about this a lot, and I wanted to give a little broader perspective to anyone who's interested about knowing why there's not transparency in the in the real estate buying pro uh, process. You really don't know what you're getting unless you really investigate it, and it that's how it is in Florida. So this. This book uh, tells you why and also gives you solutions to that. There, you can find a way and it's not that expensive to know if the property you're going to buy, invest in, is worthy. If you can let your grandchildren um, inherit it and it'll still be valuable. That's important. Um, so I'll put the link below. Also, if you're thinking you have your property, you're not buying or selling, but you just want to improve your home, I do have at the top of my channel on the right side, there's a two page PDF um, and there's eight ways to make your property less flood prone. So I'm trying to give you some ways because in the process of buying a home, I've come across how a lot of people don't know their flood risks and I hate seeing someone thinking that they're going to buy something forever for their family. And I know, and I'm suspicious that that property is, you know, not going to be around or it's going to be not that valuable if it's always getting flooded. So that's a problem. Um, there are solutions. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this. Um, there is a cap on how much flood insurance rates can rise in Florida for your single family, for a primary homeowner, it can rise 18% per year. For your secondary home, it's 25%. Those are still high, but compared to what this uh, recent research, it's a drop in the bucket compared to what they're saying. So I'll give you an, they also estimated like here's like an average uh, flood insurance policy in Miami, they said was $1,069. And it should be according to their research, at least $430 more, $1,500 a year. So this is kind of what happened with the windstorm insurance every year it kept going up. So that's probably what we're going to be seeing with flood insurance. I, you know, I don't want to discourage anybody from moving here. I live here. I lived in a lot of places and it's just like, it's a beautiful day. It's just gorgeous. Um, I, my blood is thin. I, the cold weather, I like it, but I can't stay in it anymore. And you just get spoiled living here. There's a great outdoor lifestyle, uh, active lifestyle. There's fishing. There's just so much. It's a beautiful place to live, but you have to know your risks and you have to be prepared. So 
this is what I'm, I'm trying to do that. And if you have any questions, by all means, contact me. I'd be happy to talk to you. And um, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. And until next time, stay well, and I'll see you then.